Hi and welcome to the Adam Sharp channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammed Azam and we are going to continue learning the messages extensions in iOS 10. Now if you have not watched the last two screencasts, I highly recommend that you do so because this is the third part which of course builds on top of the previous screencast. Um, now at this point we were doing in the first and the second screencast, we were making use of the messages view controller uh, to build a complete UI. And that made us a little bit of limitation, that created a limitation because we couldn't be able to do the compact and the expanded modes. Now let me go ahead and show you what I mean by compact and expanded modes. So if I go to any of my extensions, like this is the one that's provided by Apple, and if I select anything, Let's say I can select this cow over here and I send in this cow. So the cow is a dog. Anyway, so if I go to the, the user and I can click on it, now this particular view that you see is a uh, expanded mode. And if I click the done button and I see the small view that pops up right over here, this is the compact view. But since we were using our messages view controller, uh, we cannot really do that. And of course, that's also a bad idea because messages view controller was doing a lot of things. Uh, it was creating the UI, it was creating the images, it was creating a lot of stuff and then putting it on the UI. Now that is not really a single responsibility principle that we should be applying, right? I mean, we should make everything separate. So that's what I did. So if you look at the storyboard right now, so this is the messages view controller and you can see it's completely blank. It doesn't really have anything. And now we have this one, which is called the add message view controller. This will serve as the compact view, which will come over here. And this is called the message details view controller, which will serve as once you click on the message and it will launch this. So now we have to do that. So let's go ahead. So first we don't really need this method because this is no use. Now let's go ahead and check in the add message view controller. Now I've already added a protocol for add message view controller delegate, which pass in the image and the caption. And when you click the add message, it's just gonna create the image and the caption and pass in to all the subscribers. Now currently, of course, it doesn't really have any subscribers. The message detail doesn't really have any implementation. The only uh, different thing about the message detail view controller is the background color is green. So when it is expanded in the full mode, you will see the green color. So let's go over here and uh, start typing the code which is necessary to make the transition happen. Now, it's a little bit of a lot of code. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start pasting some stuff. So first of all, I am going to paste is the creation of the view controllers. Present view controller, okay? Now you're going to pass in the conversation and the presentation style. And here you can actually see if the conversation, I mean, if the presentation style is compact, I'm actually going to create an add message view controller. Of course, we don't really have that method, so let's go ahead and add both of those, which is instantiate message details and the message add. Now, of course, both of these things have an ID associated with them. That's why, that's how I'm uh, getting it from the storyboard. And for the add message view controller, since the add message view controller has a delegate, which is right over here, the delegate has to be consumed or used by the messages view controller. Oops. And you saw it crashing live. So let's go ahead and uh, restart the Xcode again. All right, so we are on a good point here over here. I am just going to go and use the add message view controller delegate. Of course, I need to implement the delegate method. And let's see if I can find that. Um, and then inside the delegate method did submit is what we're going to do, what we actually, uh, we don't need this one, I don't think so. 
right? Because now, since I'm passing the image, so layout dot image equals to image. And in this case, caption is caption. All right. So a couple of our other things, whenever the transition is happening, whenever it's going from compact mode to the expanded mode and from expanded mode to the compact mode, the method which is will transition to is getting fired. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Everything builds okay. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens now. If you see the send message or insert image or whatever that was, that will be coming from the uh, add message view controller. So we have completely separated out the add message view controller. Okay. I don't see anything. Most probably I'll have to launch it again. Let's go ahead and wait for a while. Nope, all right, uh, looks everything okay. So let's go ahead and run it again. Sometime it gives you a little bit of a trouble. So this is our messages extension. And let's see, why is it not working? I'm sure that we do have a button over here, which is this one. Add message and add message. This is all set up correctly. But it is not firing into that. That is kind of weird. Let's go ahead and see what we are doing over here. We'll transition to... Um, I might be missing will transition to and where is the active oh I don't think we have implemented that method over here there's another method that you have to implement which is which will be fired let me actually see which will be fired once the it is launched uh, will become active I don't think we have that now will become active of course as the name suggests it's going to be fired whenever the uh, extension becomes active. So we were not doing that over there. Let's go ahead and run it. Go ahead and launch it. Messages extension. Hopefully this will now turn into a yellowish orange color. Here we go. So now this is this part, the compact mode is actually being displayed what is in add message view controller. Now if you're familiar with the view controller containment this is the same concept actually we're doing the view controller containment right over here you can see the code to inject the view controller and the view itself so now i'm going to click the send message and i'm going to insert this and i can click over here and i can go into a message too and i can click and you should see a green view isn't that great because now green view is not the messages view controller, but it's some message details and you can do anything over here now. All right, so you have made the responsibility completely separate for the part for the compact mode, which is responsible for adding and the part where you are uh, actually, you know, detail mode basically. All right. That is pretty much it. Uh, I hope you like this. A screencast and stay tuned for more and if you do like it uh, please use the comment box uh, to uh, make suggestions uh, share it with your friends share it with twitter and share it on basically everywhere uh, thank you very much have a great day